Now, the Kenya Animal Genetic Resources Center, KAGRC, has unveiled a new artificial insemination AI technology for goats, marking a significant step in advancing the country's dairy and meat production sectors. Speaking during an open day event with goat uh, dairy farmers at the Kutus Ahiti Domba Center, KAGRC Managing Director Bene Benedict Misoi highlighted the transformative potential of AI technology, describing it as a groundbreaking innovation that will enable farmers to maximize their yields and improve livestock quality. In an effort to boost productivity and enhance food security in the country, the Kenya Animal Genetic Resources Center, Kagrik, has introduced artificial insemination technology for goats targeting to produce over 100,000 semens for artificial insemination for the goats. Our yearly target for the semen, goat semen is 100,000 annually. And uh, as I said, we are yet to commission the center, but we have achieved. So far, we have done over 69,000 doses uh, since the inception of this uh, center, and we have been able to distribute over 20,000 uh, straws of semen to our farmers. Speaking during an open day event with Goat Dairy Farmers Kagrik Managing Director Benedict Misoy emphasized the importance of artificial insemination in modern farming, describing it as a groundbreaking technology that will help farmers maximize their yields. AI is key in production or increasing productivity. And I would urge all our farmers to adopt AI, artificial insemination. AI in goats is a new technology that we are trying to sell to farmers. Reason is to increase productivity. Here we are doing selective breeding by producing the best uh, semen. We have a number of breeds in our station. Samani tulikuwa tunatafuta hizo dume na inakosa alafu na pagine unapata dume sigine simekojeka. Ile mtoto unayesapatikana kwa hiyo nini inakuwa mkojo hata yeye. The event which attracted a large number of farmers provided a platform for interaction, knowledge sharing and preparation for the official commissioning of a new breeding center in the next two months with Misoi highlighting the broader impact of the initiative in production and job creation. The country currently is producing 5 billion liters of milk, but we are intending, or the goal of the government is to double the volumes to 10 billion by the year 2027. And uh, dairy goat is part of the milk that will contribute to the volumes that we are looking uh, forward to produce by the end of 2027 to be able to support and to feed the nation to also create employment and to ensure that our farmers get uh, profit from their enterprises. James Moremi, one of the goat farmers from Kirinyaga, applauded Kagrik for the initiative, while at the same time calling on other farmers to attend other such events, saying that they enlightened farmers on the new changes in animal farming. Ukiwa na pusi, na pusi kama biri, uwede uwe ukiwa unamblidi, 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 utapata mlindi zuli. Mbegu zilikuwa hasipatikani kwa uraisi na tena tena tulikuwa ukiona mbuzi yako inataka dume tulikuwa tunakimbia tu kwa majirani mwenye um, anaonekana kama kona mbuzi mzuli. Mambo ya maziwa ni seme maziwa ya mbuzi ni ikona ready market sababu ni vile hata yonekani hata haitoshi in the community. As lack of quality breeds remains to be one of the major hindrances in improving goat meat and milk production in the country, Innovative breeding techniques like artificial insemination are believed to better position farmers to meet the rising demand for dairy and meat products. <laughs> you can manage the microclimate. Eh? Yeah. James Baraka for KUTV.